This video will provide termination instructions for the Propel 12 strand ribbon fiber splice cassette. Using thumb and finger, disengage rear tab by lifting and pulling backward to remove the cover. Remove the spool and splice holder from the cassette, then remove and discard the foam blocks. Locate ends of pigtail marked with tape. Then unspool and extend fiber beyond front of cassette. Insert plastic sleeve into mesh sleeve and secure using tape. Insert feeder fiber into sleeve. Secure feeder fiber using the two cable ties. Snip off ends of cable ties close to the head. Push the head downward until it is below the top of the cassette wall. Extend feeder fibers beyond the front of the base, then measure and trim pigtail and feeder to specified cut length per table one. Using the provided splice protector, strip, clean, cleave, and splice fibers following standard splicing methods. Locate P and F markings on the spool. When loading splice protectors, ensure the pigtail is on the P side and the feeder is on the F side. Using the spool fiber fingers, route pigtail fibers counterclockwise until the feeder and pigtail fibers converge. Route fibers into base. Position spool to prepare for routing. Route pigtail and feeder fibers counterclockwise, starting along the outer walls and working towards the center of the cassette. Line up the pegs on the cassette base with the mounting holes on the spool to finish routing. Insert spool into base and ensure all fibers are under the retaining fingers. Line the tabs on the cover with the slots near the front of the cassette base. Lay the cover flat on the base and ensure all the tabs on the side of the cover and the base are lined up. With one hand holding the cassette base, push the cover forward with the other hand to engage the tabs. Double check the rear tab is also engaged to prevent the cover from sliding off. 